Hi, welcome to Britain's Rare Guitars. I'm Becky Baldwin. And I'm Gareth Circuit. And we've got Chicken Bone John here in the studio with us, telling us about his cigar box guitars. So what can you tell us about this instrument? Okay, it's a, uh, these are cigar box guitars. They're made from a real cigar box and they're sort of a guitar. So it's a cigar box guitar. Um, I've been making these for about 12 years now, I think. Um, always played guitar a bit. I've been in a band, been on the John Peel show even. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Our record was banned by the BBC though because of its political content. But anyway, <laughs> and then I sort of got married and had a job and had kids and all that sort of dropped away. And then I had a midlife crisis and wanted to start playing in a band and playing music again. So um, I know my wife wasn't too pleased about this, but you know, playing in bands and all the rest of it, but at least I hadn't gone out and bought a Harley Davidson and had that sort of midlife crisis. So I started getting into playing the blues and jazz again, and I started listening to a lot of the old time blues players and realized that instead of the fancy guitar that I really wanted to buy myself, they all played really cheap guitars. So I started buying cheap American catalogue guitars and doing them up. And then I saw on the internet, the steam powered interweb, a guy called Shane Spiel in the States had launched this little site about cigar box guitars. And he sort of rediscovered them. And I thought, well, that's the ultimate cheap guitar. You know, I was buying cheap, crappy guitars and doing them up. I was thinking, but this is stuff that people are throwing away, an empty box or a tin can, stick a, yeah, yeah, stick a stick, it's yeah. a stick in a box. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I thought I'll have to have a go. So, I mean, I'd made a few guitars for people and for myself, proper electric guitars and that. But I thought I'll give it a go and I play a bit of slide. I didn't put frets on it. Three strings in an open tuning, bit of slide and, and I was away. So that really was the start of it. Um, so do you do you sell these then? Is that yeah. your full-time job selling these things? That is my business, oh, yeah. Wow. I mean, with lots of other things, but yeah, we, uh, me and my daughter run the business. Um, and yet yeah, we sell guitars and slides and amps and all sorts of stuff. So I do, I run workshops on how to make them and how to play, gig in UK and Europe. Uh, but yeah, this is my, it's my business, full-time business. Well. Um, we don't really know how to play these, okay. um, but yeah, could you tell us like how they're tuned, what's different to guitars okay. and basses? Well, they're more like a banjo, because really that's where they came from, from the southern states of America, from slave days, and people would make their own instrument, and the natural thing to do for people to do would be to make a banjo, which is the archetypal African instrument. So your five-string banjo, you know, the one with the funny tuning yeah. peg down here, is in an open tuning. And so is this. It's got stripped the way right the way down to three strings. So the key thing is, it's an open tuning. This one's tuned G D G. So that's is, not a chord. It's not full chord. Yeah. Uh, there's the full chord with the three note, full three notes. Your roots, fifth and the third. This has just got the uh, the root, the fifth, and another root on top. So it's a power chord. The cool thing about it is. All your chords you can do with. You can just do with either a straight finger or the slide, and then you find other little cool things. And you can, and it's very, very, it's well suited to doing blues, but you can do anything sort of folky or Americana. So easy to do like that, the standard blues shuffle. Just a bar chord and going up. So there's not the, the key thing is let the guitar do the work. So I'm only, I mean here if you want to learn how to play, the thing you need to is they're a bit awkward because they're a bit neck heavy. So yeah. you need to balance it in your lap. If you want to use a pick, use a pick. But I use my bare fingers and what I, I either just just strum it or if you want to get fancy, you can put your thumb on the bass one finger in the middle and, and, and sort of pinch them together, which was what I do a lot. But you can just strum it. Like, 
mm. like you would with a regular guitar. To do that blues shuffle thing, don't bother worry about the slide. I mean, I tend to put it on my little finger. It doesn't really matter because lots of people use their ring finger. Bonnie Raitt and uh, Billy Gibbons use their middle finger and they're both pretty decent <laughs> slide players, <laughs> yeah, I must admit. Uh, but I'll, I'll use my little finger because it leaves my other fingers free to do chording stuff. Uh, but just to do a blues shuffle, if you get the rhythm down, up, down. I'm using the second fret middle string. And then you can just put a bar across the fifth. Do the same thing with. three, two, one, all in the middle and then that's about all there is to it. It may feel a bit weird because you're missing half of your regular number of strings. Yeah, yeah. as a guitar player this is very strange. I bet you feel fine, surely. Oh, uh, well, yeah. well, no, it's different. <laughs> and it's I, different. Do make, I, I have made cigar box guitar basses, three and four string. Mm. Uh, I do make some four string guitars uh, and that does go into an open, a, a, well, open G because you get that fourth string. I find them a little bit awkward because this is like neither major nor minor. So you can do, yeah. When you add that fourth string, you sort of have to make a decision. I'm how am I going to tune it? Yeah. And it ends up being usually a major chord. Yeah. Dead cool. You can. It's fantastic for doing Keith Richards and Robert Johnson stuff. But I just find I have to think a bit too much, and. I'm a fairly lazy guitar player, yeah. so right. not thinking too much suits me fine, and I can just thrash at it really. Brilliant, which is brilliant. What I like. Right, so John's going to give us a, a quick crash course on how to play these things, and we'll be right back with a jam. <laughs> 